the thing about Coup de Britannia was, it was nobody who's been on the open top bus of Coup de Britannia can have any regrets. The music industry, you know, Blur, Oasis, Supergrass, The Lightning Seeds, um, Manson, you know, White Town. There were so many great songs. Kula Shaker, The Spice Girls. And we we haven't got it. We've been bombarded with these imports in HMV. Uh, like the American music industry was dead since the, the downfall of Michael Jackson in the mid 90s. And they came back at us after Cool Britannia, the last two or three major years and the first four or five Blair years. That premiership, you know, that, that, that conversation in the House of Commons, Collector's Lot, 15 to 1. You know, so many great shows, S4C, CFAX, um, Match of the Day, Focus with Mark Lawrence Alan Green, Terry Butcher, you know, Johannes Tern. It was great. And the Northern Ireland Peace Process, Mom Olam, Central Figure. David Trimble, um, and the Americans came back at us, Irish America and African America, rounded up people who were on social protection money like Fred Durst and Eminem, with this white trash, um, filthy on like, uh, and, uh, and bombarded us with this, and that was okay, like that went, that storm passed and you had Brandon Flowers then and it got better, all right, the one was coming from stateside then, they, they they changed it in all four. Was things were going okay. There was a Lou Reed revival and thing, and David Boyd revival in HMV. Things were going better, but then I tried to use models from political science or history because I'm a political scientist, histor- which is another word for an international historian. And suddenly, you have troubles on Great Island, and that's why I used the term "Cool Britannia" because. That describes the Cool Britannia era, those years of the two prime ministers I, I spoke of. So you see, it was just a nice traditional song because from Shanghai to Bombay to Montreal, St. Lawrence, you have Royal Navy ships on the way. So it was Rule Britannia, Red Britannia rules the world. You know, it was a lovely traditional folk song, but they changed it. To, to cool Britannia, you know, because everything was going so well. But it's ju- it might be just on Great Island there's troubles. It's b- for that exact reason. We need the Royal Navy to take over the Department of Defence and the Navy. It's very, very important. Because old money, Great Island, people in big houses built by the Royal Navy, where's the Valley Road, that, that Victoria mansion there the, on the eight acres, and here the house on the high road, the officers' houses. Royal Navy, the Anchorage, those types of places. Somebody, it, there was always an understanding on Great Island between the humble community and the property community that they didn't gratuitously t- go at us, you know. But um, the new, the nouveau rich have ransacked Great Island with schemes at making money at the expense of other citizens. I wouldn't have minded if they were legit schemes, but they're actually criminal schemes. So I want the Royal Navy to come back and have an old money great island, you know. That's my dying wish, like, as um, as as f- f- 4 Avril. Av- Avril was the house name on 4 Western Terrace. That was my favourite residence. Um, my um, landlady owned the firm of sisters, and her husband was a dentist, and I never had any trouble, you know. So the troubles came back when I left that and came back here for some reason. This troubles must have been brewing a storm, you know. And uh, the Nouveau Rich, and I, I really resent the Nouveau Rich race.